Captain James Porter. And you are Sergeant? Mike Green. Mike Green, Sergeant. Tell me, what's the real reason you pulled this young man over? Well, he just looked suspicious. Suspicious? Sergeant Green, do I look suspicious to you? No, sir. But my son does. Yeah. Uh, uh, your, your, uh, your son? Yes. He is my son, Dondre Porter. I didn't know he was your son. I wouldn't have stopped him if I... I, I, I so let I, me get this right. Let me get this right. You stopped him because you felt that he didn't belong in this neighborhood? Well, well, well sir, it, it's... it's. Uh, Sergeant, look, they're going to... Oh, shit. travelers aggressively refusing to wear masks, harassing public figures, and even assaulting crew members. In Fort Lauderdale, an all-out fist fight after passengers deplaned refusing to wear masks. In D.C., a passenger removed after allegedly arguing with flight attendants over the mask rule. In Denver, an emergency landing after a man tried to open an emergency exit. The FAA says a typical year brings 100 to 150 formal charges of bad passenger behavior. But so far this year, that number has skyrocketed to 1,300 reported cases. But it is not permissible, and we will not tolerate interfering with a flight crew in the performance of their safety duties, period. Now, a zero-tolerance approach from the FAA. Unruly passengers face potential criminal charges, fines of up to $35,000, and banned for life by the airline. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, I'm there, I get paid a fee. It's Friday night, and I won't be long till I hit the guns fly, hit the guns fly. I'm living out in L.A. I drive.